Hi. You must be Donna. I'm Let me guess. Samantha Wheeler. What gave it away? Several things, not the least of which is you ambushing me in my office. Well, it doesn't have to be an ambush. Could just be a friendly howdy-do. In that case, let me grab my 10-gallon hat and help make it that. You don't need a 10-gallon hat. You just need to sign off on this. <laughs> Samantha, this isn't a howdy-do. This is an expense account request three times larger than anyone else's. Huh. It's only two times bigger than anyone else's at Rand Calder Zane. Try four times bigger. How do you know that? Because it's my business to know that. And what I know about this is that I can't sign off on it. Is it because I didn't say please? It's because I don't know what it's for. It's for me to do my job. That isn't very specific. No, it's not. But it's what I had before, and it's what I need now. If you want specifics, talk to Robert Zane. But he doesn't have any either, which is how he prefers it. Well, I'm not Robert. But since I'm also not trying to get off on the wrong foot, I will authorize half of this, which is the most we give. I get it. The new girl comes in, you want to make sure she understands the pecking order. That wasn't my intention. But if that's the way you see it, that tells me a lot more about you than it tells you about me. Good to finally meet you, Samantha. Good to meet you too, Donna. Nick Turner? Yes. Harvey Specter. Mr. Specter, it's a pleasure meeting you, but I wasn't aware we had a meeting. We don't. I know we never met, but you meant a lot to Mike, which means you mean a lot to me. And I just got a proposal on your behalf. Smith Barty wants to take you public. You're kidding. That's fantastic. And it's not just your main business. They want your new venture, too. I'd love to say yes, but the new business isn't ready. Nick, it's not often you get a top-rate investment bank knocking on the doors of a fledgling business. But if we do that, we won't get the full price of our upside. What if I told you they were willing to send over 500000 in cash as a good faith advance against any transaction costs? I'm sorry. Who are you? I'm Samantha Wheeler. I work with Harvey. Like I said, half a million dollars. All you have to do is send your books over to start the process, and we'll get down to making you and your partner rich. Well, that's very generous. But as I was just saying to Harvey, we're already rich, and I don't feel comfortable giving away our upside. Nick, don't let this briefcase get in the way of a great opportunity. Look, I appreciate you both coming over, but we're in the middle of our build out. So please, for right now, I prefer to keep things like they are. What the hell was that? That was one cool cucumber, who sounds pretty good, but couldn't hide the fact that he'd rather cut off his arm than show us his books. I meant, what were you doing coming into my meeting? I was introducing myself so we could get off on a better foot. I thought you said we got off on the right foot. Well, I think so, but I could tell you didn't. Well, let me tell you something. Derailing my meeting when it was going exactly as planned isn't the way to get off on a better foot. I don't know what meeting you were in, but that man was not going to show you his books. And offering him a bribe is going to get him to? It wasn't a bribe. It's untraceable cash, which, if he were embezzling, he would have gone for. We're missing 50 million. 500,000 isn't going to get him out of his jam. Well, maybe if your ex-assistant had hamstrung me with my expense account, it would have been more. Samantha, you bring Don into this, we're never getting on the right foot. Look, that wasn't what I meant. That's I... enough. I'm going to get to the bottom of this, and I don't need your help. So why don't you have some respect for the chain of command and stay away from my clients? Harvey, we need to talk. We sure do. Did you just give Samantha Wheeler the keys to Fort Knox to use in my case? No, I refused to give her an expense account even bigger than Fort Knox. Why? What did she do? She tried to hijack my meeting with a briefcase full of cash. Let me guess, you didn't like it, and that's when she said that she got the money from me. No, she said it would have worked if you'd given her more. Which explains why she went over both of our heads to Robert. I don't believe this. He tripled her expense account. Yes, he did. Harvey, we need to figure out what we're going to do about this woman. Well, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to go tell Robert that if he doesn't shorten her leash, she's gone. Or you could extend the olive branch and let her work the case with you. And why would I do that? Because sometimes it's best to keep your friends close and the new senior partner we know nothing about even closer. Well, that's all well and fine, but I am tired of knowing nothing about her. So am I. So while you're keeping her distracted with work, I'm gonna go digging in her medicine cabinet. Oh, good. You're still here. Wasn't about to be. What do you say we both pretend I'm not? All right, what's going on? Have you had a run-in with Samantha Wheeler yet? No, well, I take that to mean one's coming. The way she operates, you can bet on it. 
How exactly does she operate? However the hell she wants. Mm -hmm. My feelings exactly, which is why I decided to look into Little Miss. I don't answer to anyone myself. Don't tell me you came up empty. Worse. Half the people I ask say she's from Kansas. The other half, Manhattan. Somehow she managed to graduate from an Ivy League, a state school, and the Sorbonne, all within the same two years. One guy even says she's MI6, but that's just a hunch. So you're telling me that no one has the same story, and we don't know what's what. And since the only person with more contacts than me is you, I was hoping you could help me get some answers. Then turn around and get a good night's sleep. Because by tomorrow afternoon, you'll have all the answers you need on little Miss James Bond. Do you think we should have a secret handshake or something? Just go. OK. Harvey. Look, I'm not that big on apologies, so you're not going to get one. But I thought about it. And if you're still interested in working this thing together, I'm good with that. Good, because I found out some things you might want to know. You kept working on it, even after I told you to stay out of it? I'm not big on apologies, either. This is the best you're going to get. As far as I can tell from Nick's bank statements, he doesn't spend shit on shit. He's clean. Well, his spending may be accounted for, but the original 50 million isn't. What are you talking about? I can't find any record of deposits before the second 50 came in. As far as I can tell, that 50 covered the entire cost of the project. Wait a second. He didn't need the first 50. He needed the second 50. And he couldn't get the second without saying he had the first. Which means he misrepresented himself to his investors, and this is definitely criminal. We need to go tell Max and run through his options. Harvey, I've fixed a lot of situations like this. The first thing we need to do is go to the guy that caused the problem. And give him a chance to implicate his partner? No way. We go to the guy who came to us. He's our client. The business is our client. And I'm OK with you working with me on this, but I am not OK with you working it against me. OK, we'll go to Max first thing in the morning. I have your word. You'll leave it until tomorrow? You have my word. Then let's figure out how to get them out of this. So you're telling me Nick defrauded our investors? No, Max. I'm telling you that's what it looks like. I don't give a shit what it looks like. We need to know what it is. No, we don't. Because right now it's conjecture. We prove it. We have an obligation to inform your investors. So inform them. We do that, your whole company goes out of business. And if I keep this a secret, they'll think I was in an. This discussion is over. I need. What you need is to calm down and listen to us right now, because we have a way out. What is it? According to your contract, you have the option to buy out your investors at a 30% return. They go away happy, but we put this in our rearview mirror. And assuming we can even come up with that kind of money, what if someone finds out before we do? No one's going to find That's out. That's not an answer. Max. No. This is Nick's mistake, not mine. And innocent people go to the police. Listen to me. You turn him in, you'll look like a guilty man running scared. I am scared. Max, you used to trust Mike. Now I need you to trust me. We get these guys paid off. It'll take maybe three days. Then you're fine. OK, Harvey, I trust you. OK. We did it your way, we talked to Max, and we presented a united front. You better not be saying you want to divide it now. All I'm saying is there's another option. We replace the fabricated 50 million with a real 50 from an actual investor no one will ever know. Oh, so all we have to do is commit fraud to get out of fraud? And how exactly is that any different from what you want to do? Because my way is protected under the letter of the law. And we have to pay a 30% return on something that isn't worth it. Keeping Max out of prison seems worth it to me. So instead of fighting with me, why don't you start thinking about where we're going to get that money? <laughs>